Mr Acting Speaker. I call the member for Vaughan, please. Thank you, Mr Acting Speaker. On Monday, the 22nd of July, I was delighted to attend the celebrations for the 90th anniversary of Bondi Beach Public School at the invitation of Maria Hardy, the school principal, and the school community. And also attending that school assembly were parents, students, friends and ex-students of the school who had travelled far and wide to be there on that very special day. Bondi Public School is a special school. It's situated across the road from the internationally famous Bondi Beach and it has a really close relationship with the Bondi Beach community. I'm not sure how the students manage to concentrate on hot days with the best beach in the world visible from their playground and almost within easy reach for a quick cooling dip in the waves. The school is also fortunate to have Bondi Farmers Market on Saturdays and the Bondi Markets on Sundays and the markets generate revenue for the school and they use those funds for many of their educational programs, their equipment and their facilities. On the beautiful Monday morning in question, the special school assembly was opened and compared by the school captains, Hugh Marshall and Ella Sullivan, and they did a marvellous job in keeping all the proceedings on track. At the assembly, the violin group and the school band, led by teacher Rod Mason, entertained us. There was also a dance ensemble, and the school choir performed two songs, one of which was the old-time favourite, What the World Needs Now, that song by Bert Bacharach. All in attendance had the enjoyment of seeing how talented the students are and witnessing the enthusiasm and excitement that beamed from them during those performances. Jeff Steele, who is the grandson of the first principal of Bondi Beach Public School, Herbert Burt Brown, entertained us with stories from his grandfather. And one of his stories was that when the school was first built in 1923, there were only nine classrooms for 450 students which meant it was rather an overcrowded school at that time. Bill Bennett, a former teacher, kept us amused with stories from his teaching days at the school during World War II and how there were air raid shelters under the school playground. He also reflected on the wonderful changes that he had observed in the school over the subsequent years. Marie Ecclestone, a past student and a Commonwealth Games gold medalist in swimming in 1970, also shared her stories from her days at the school and how important the opportunities to be able to swim at Bondi Beach just across the road, the road were for her. When the special school assembly finished, we all moved on to the playground where every student from kindergarten to year six entertained the audience with a flash dance performance under the guidance of teacher Caitlin Bushell. The kindergarten students were encouraged and helped along in their performances by the year six students who played a leadership role in the dance. The Year 6 students were dressed in onesies, that favourite outfit that all kids wear at all times now, so that the, and adults, and the younger students found it much easier to follow and see them, of course, dressed up in the onesies. It was an amazing logistical exercise with all of those children from K to sick involved, involved in the coordination of singing and dancing in fancy dress, and it was a wonderful spectacle. After the performance, Marie Hardy and myself, Waverley Councillor Joy Clayton, School Captain Hugh Marshall cut a very big, blue, large birthday cake, baked and decorated by one of the teachers. The cake was brightly decorated with a school emblem on its face, a beautiful gold sun in a clear sky splaying down on dark blue waves. My attendance on this special occasion continues the strong relationship I have with Bondi Public School, its teachers, students and parents. The school excels in its pursuit of academic excellence and creativity in an inclusive, welcoming school environment. I saw all of these qualities in abundance on the day, and all of this takes place, as I said, just across the road from one of the world's most famous beaches. I wish all of those associated with the school a very happy 90th birthday. I thank them for including me in their special celebration and their school assembly, and I do look forward to my continued association with the whole school community, and I do wish them, of course, all the very best for their bright future ahead. I commend my private member's statement to the House.